Hi everyone, welcome to this week's drone video. We're going to be talking about the Tello. We are going to look at the app, how to connect this to your phone, and then we're going to do a baseline battery test for all of our videos going forward. So what we're going to do now is we're going to connect the Tello to my phone. So what we're gonna do first is press the power button until it turns on. And as it starts to boot up, it will start to emit the Wi-Fi signal. On my phone, I am going to look for the Tello Wi-Fi. Once I have found it, I will connect to it. And then we're going to open up the app. So this is the app. And as it boots up, it'll tell me that my drone has been connected. It's also going to show me all of the battery life as well as uh, the Wi-Fi signal and so forth. So on the app, we have the joysticks that are on the bottom. I am using my phone, so I don't have a Bluetooth controller. The setup that I have is on the right-hand side, my joystick would control the drone to go forward and back, left and right. And on my left hand side, it would rotate the drone as well as change its altitude, so up or down. On the top left, what we have are three different buttons. The first one is to take off. I'm not going to slide this because I'm indoors, so I'm just going to leave it as is. The second button will bring you to all of the flight modes. So the first one is the circle flight mode. It would take your drone and circle around from where it took off. The second one is bounce mode. And after it takes off, it is just going to automatically fly up and down between half a meter to 1.2 meters from your location. The third one is the throw and go. So what you do is you turn on this flight mode, you have the drone on your palm and you would just throw it and it would take off from there. The fourth one are the flips. Once you turn on this flight mode, you will be able to flip in eight different directions. The second to last is the up and out. So you have your drone flying already. You start this flight mode, it'll start recording video. It's going to fly backward and up at the same time. The last one is 360. So what it's gonna do is just turn and take video at wherever it is flying. The third button is where you'll see all of your settings. So if you were to tap on that, you will see the flight speed. You could change it to slow and fast. If you're brand new to this, I would keep it on slow. You also have the option to do VR mode. If you have VR goggles, you can put your phone inside them. I don't have a Bluetooth controller, so I will not be using that VR mode. If you, like I said, if you do have a Bluetooth controller, you would see more settings in the Bluetooth joystick settings. You have the Wi-Fi option. Here you have the Wi-Fi name of your drone as well as the password, which you can set. I do recommend you setting a password just in case you're flying outdoors and somebody would be able to connect to the Tello. Last one is more. So here you have the beginner guide. You also can change different settings like the measurement system, the photo quality, uh, what the low battery warning would be. Um, you can also switch between mode one and mode two sticks. So the way that I have my joysticks, I can actually flip them in reverse. Uh, EV is exposure value. So you can change the default exposure value of your photos. And then the bit rate is related to your uh, video settings. I'm going to tap the three buttons on the side and here you will see where you can calibrate your IMU. You can also look at the different firmware versions as well as your app version. So let's get out of the settings. On the right hand side, you'll see three more buttons. The first one is the play button. Here you will be able to see the photos and videos that you have taken with your drone. The second button lets you flip between video as well as photo taking. The last button is the capture button. So if you're flying, you can just hit that and you would be able to take video or pictures. 
on the bottom, if you need to upgrade your firmware, which I do, you'll see a option to upgrade your firmware there. So I'm not going to do that mainly because I don't want to uh, take too long with this video. On the top, you'll see the actual battery life how strong your Wi-Fi signal is, how fast it's going, and how high it is. The bottom of the drone has vision sensors, so it should be able to let you know how high the drone is when it's flying. So there you go, that's the app. And what we're going to do now is we're actually going to get a baseline for the battery. So I'm gonna make sure my battery is at 100%. And then I am going to just let it hover inside of my house so that I can test whether or not the battery life rating you know is close enough to the 13 minutes that's advertised so we have the drone on the floor we're going to do a quick test on the battery life i am going to let it hover inside with no wind just to see how long it takes the only inputs that i will be giving it are any adjustments to make sure that it doesn't hit my walls so here we go I'm connecting to the drone and then I have another phone to start the timer. As I take off, I am going to start. You can see here how stable the drone actually is. So far, I have not had to correct the drone. And it is already a minute 45 and I am down 10%. After about three minutes, I'm not sure if you guys can see that, three minutes, I have used up 20% of my battery life. Five and a half minutes and I've used 40%. six and a half and I have hit 50% battery. Very, very close to the expected 13 minutes. Ten minutes, I am down to 20%. and it is landing by itself and I'm going to stop it once it touches the floor. So hovering indoors, we have the battery life at 11 minutes and 16 seconds. So there goes my baseline battery test. Next week, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be testing all of the flight modes and while I do that, I'm going to be using the timer to time how long the drone would last while it is flying outdoors. Right now we just had a snowstorm so I won't be able to take this drone out yet, but hopefully by next week I would be able to do that with all the different flight modes and I can you know, show you guys how that's done, as well as what the battery life is compared to just hovering indoors. So I had the drone at 100% when I first started flying. By the end, after 11 minutes and 16 seconds, the drone just auto landed. It was rated for about 13 minutes of flight time. It's not too bad considering it was probably my second flight flying indoors. Also, if you notice by the video, it actually didn't drift too much. I did not have to put in any inputs for the drone and it stayed relatively in the same spot. From the spot of takeoff, it landed about two feet away from it. And at first I was worried that this was going to hit my walls, but for the 11 minutes, it actually 
didn't float too far so it's actually very stable for indoor flying so if you're interested in that it's not too bad if you have space for it there you go guys this is a very quick video on the app how to connect it and what the battery life is for indoor hovering with no wind and i hope you guys will join me next week for the flight modes as well as battery life when i am flying around zipping outside um, in the elements pretty much i'll see you guys next time and i hope you guys have a great time flying